apologize for that. Um, I want to thank Penny, Bill, Tori, Carrie Edwards, how are you doing tonight? Um, Alyssa and Ben and Joe for being on and watching. Um, again, I apologize for the, the video lapse there. Um, we, we're, we're doing good things here and I want to keep good things going. And like I said, we are uh, $90 into our $200 fundraiser for the youth group. And um, I feel this is, this is going to be great for these kids. So let's try our best. Let's do what we can. Let's, uh, let's try to see if we can hit that $200 goal. Uh, even I, I donated $20 myself and uh, put it into the funds too. So if we can uh, get this up to the $200, let's get it to the club, and let's, let's try to see if we can help these children out this summer. Uh, Kerry, I'm doing very well. Thank you very much. Uh, like I said, it's always good to see you. Uh, hey, Kevin, how are you doing? I see Kevin's on now, too. So if we can keep things going and keep this uh, broadcast going and... I, I, like I said, we're, we're doing good things. Potholes have been filled again over at the Great American and over by the uh, Family Dollar uh, within not long after I podcast it. Uh, the garbage on the porch on East Main Street was picked up within a week or so after I podcast it. And the garbage that was laying out for two months on River Street was cleaned up the very next day after it was podcast. And again, um, that was due to a um, person of the community, and the Sydney Chatterbox did reimburse her um, for putting out the money that she did because we want to see this community cleaned, and I appreciate all the help that she did. But it shouldn't have came out of her pocket. The landlord um, should have came and took care of the garbage or reimbursed her. So I also see Main Street's going pretty good down there. Uh, they're moving right along this year. Last year they had a couple of problems they ran into and a couple of incidents, but uh, I see right now that they're, they're moving section by section and they're getting things done uh, fairly quickly. Uh, the only major concern I have with this Main Street is Main Street and River, um, that there was an accident and that is a very wide swing coming from River Street to um, Main Street. Uh, Kevin, I, if you're still on, I, I know you're a fireman. Um, your input here probably would help a little bit, but uh, or actually it will help a lot. Um, like I said, there, there was an accident just recently on the corner of River and Main, and I am concerned on how far out that you have to turn right onto Main Street. Now, from what I understand, they're going to try to reduce trucks from going down there also. But if we have businesses down there, the trucks need to get to those businesses. Um, it, it's very difficult. And uh, Carrie just had mentioned too, in which I also heard, that the um, fire trucks were even having problems making that turn. Uh, and the fire trucks isn't an 18 wheeler, but they're big enough where it's hard to make that turn. So but there's a little bit of concern there. I mean, like I said, it looks good. The concerns there, accidents could happen more often now. So please, if you're coming in or out of Main Street onto River, um, please be very cautious due to the fact that it is a very tight swing, uh, very narrow. Um, uh, Carrie had just mentioned that her husband Kevin almost flipped the car today with his car and I ride motorcycle outside of driving and even for me to come around that on my bike is a very awkward term so um, Kevin I'm glad you're okay um, I know it's very tight out there so please everybody please be very very careful at the intersection um, onto Main and River I, I don't foresee too many problems at the other end near the tracks, um, only due to the fact is we don't have a main road down that end, and the tracks are right there, so you're going to have plenty of clearance. 
Um, as far as trucks coming down Main Street to get to the hardware store, <clears throat> excuse me, it's either going to have to be coming down Division, which is now, again, a very uh, small street, or they're going to have to go down Union, come around through the parking lot of Great American, and then back on to Main Street just to make deliveries. So let's keep an eye on this. Let's um, see how this is going to work out. Uh, as far as the the beauty of it, it looks very nice. I'm hoping that this will improve Sydney and bring businesses here that want to be here, um, not just due to the, the redoing of our Main Street, but due to Sydney is a great place to have a business. It's a, it's a great place to be. It's a good community. Um, it, it, it has a lot to offer um, with the right things being done. Now, um, I have an announcement I'm going to make in September. Uh, actually, it'll be the 1st of September. Um, I'm thinking about pulling that back. Uh, I'm thinking about maybe making that announcement uh, to uh, maybe tomorrow night uh, on a podcast. Um, it's a very important announcement. It's something that, uh, that's been brewing for a while and something that needs to be done. So I'm going to throw it out there and we're going to go from there. Uh, Bill, um, you're right. You watched the school buses try to make that right turn. Um, I've talked to my children's bus driver and he says that's an awful turn for him to make too with the school bus. Bill, thank you for your... Um, your input on that with the school buses. I didn't even think about the school buses. Uh, but I want everybody to please um, just take note. Uh, I, I, today is um, today's about Sunday. Uh, I think Wednesday night I'm going to set up to make my announcement on Wednesday evening. Um, it'll be about, uh, I would say about 9. I think it's a good time. A lot of people seem to be on and doing things. So 9 o'clock Wednesday night is going to be, um, I'm going to reveal the big surprise uh, that I was going to do in September. But I think it's something that needs to be opened out now and done now uh, due to so many things going on in our community. So um, tonight's podcast is just to go back, let everybody know um, of all the good that has been going on here, the things that we have accomplished on this broadcast. Uh, just by talking about them. Um, I know the the school has made a uh, um, a new policy for bullying to make it more difficult for kids when they do bully so we, we kind of touched base with that and made some leadway with that too and we'll see how that works out next year. I um, also wanted to announce tonight and I know it's not Sydney but it's our neighboring town that the Bainbridge Pool opened up today. Um, so anybody who is interested, or children who are interested, the Bainbridge Pool is now open for swim. Um, from what I understand, the Sydney Pool will be opening after the 21st when the children get out of school. Um, at least that's what the word I have uh, for the Sydney Pool opening. Um, also, I seen on uh, Facebook on the home page of Sydney that they are looking for lifeguards for the pool. So, if anybody knows anybody who um, qualifies as a lifeguard and is looking for a job, um, they are hiring for the Sydney pool. Last I heard, for lifeguards. So, keep that in mind, please. So, ladies and gentlemen, this is going to end my broadcast for tonight. Um, I want to thank everybody for being here. Gary, thank you for your input. Um, Kevin, it was great seeing you on here. Bill, always a pleasure. So, um, I, I really, or I just want to throw this out there, Gary, I really appreciate when you're on because you have a lot of insight on things too and I can kind of feed off of you and I like that. So, please, every time you get a chance, Gary, just uh, come on on and uh, you can kind of pick up where maybe I'm slacking a little bit on a few things and I appreciate it a great deal. Uh, Kevin, it's always good to see you, like I said. Um, uh, Robin, 
hi, how are you doing tonight? Uh, Shane Webb. So this is, I see, I, the other day, I, real quick, I, I got on in the afternoon and I was doing a, a midday cast of just like the weather and touch base with a few uh, community businesses. And um, afterwards I had a gentleman leave a com comment about, we don't care about the weather. We want to know what's going on with Sydney. I'm glad that people watch here to want to know what's going on. So this is a beautiful thing that's going on here. So people are actually interested on in what's going on in our community, what's happening, and it's good that we're here and that we can do this. Oh, Kevin, you're listening to Carrie's. Okay, that's fine. As long as you're on, you're hearing. But um, again, folks, this will end my podcast for this evening. If you have anything that you would like to talk to me about, my phone number is on the website, or on, I'm sorry, on the uh, Facebook. My email is sydneychatterbox at gmail.com. And you can always IM me um, and leave me a message, and I'll get right back to you. So until Wednesday night, ladies and gentlemen, this is Jeff again with the Sydney Chatterbox, and I'll see you on Wednesday. Oh, they're looking for a part-time, wait a minute, they're looking for a part-time uh, code enforcer. Uh, thank you again, Carrie. I didn't catch that online. That must have been something added after. Um, Carrie Edwards says, I see the village is also looking for a part-time code enforcer. Um, I, I had spoken with our code enforcer now, and he assures me that this is a full-time position here, and they only have him part-time. So it's a good thing to see that they're looking for another part-time code enforcer because this town is a full-time job. People don't believe it because we're not a big community, but there's a lot of things here that need to be done. And for one person to do it on a part-time basis is very difficult. So I don't know if they're looking for just another part-time carry or are they looking for a new code enforcer? Because last I knew, the, the old code enforcer is still 32 hours a week. Okay, all right. So, again, looking for a village, is looking for a part-time code enforcer, 32 hours a week. So anybody interested, bring yourself down to um, the village and let them know that you are interested. Um, fill an application and be a part of our growing community and helping take making things good again. So, again, this is Jeff. Again, thank you, Carrie. I owe you. Um, God bless everybody. Have a good night. Jeff at the Sydney Chatterbox, and I will see you all on Wednesday.